Hello, everybody. Time for another practice match on Backgammon Galaxy. As always, the, if you like the content, please press the corresponding button and subscribe to the channel. But now, without further ado, let's jump into the action. Okay, here we go against Greholm. So, a good game, and let's start. Hit and split, just normal. Okay, one. I certainly want to hit. And usually you don't do that, but here it feels since he has another blood exposed on the bar point. I think I just want to hit two checkers. And now is this a cube already, maybe? Hmm. Feels a bit early, but I certainly have some market losers. Five cover. Okay, I cover and he just comes in. Hmm. I think it's a bit too early. Usually I say when in doubt double, so I'm curious whether I was mistaken not to follow my rule. I think two inner board points is fine. And now from the bar, three checkers back. I feel I cannot cube. Well, I'm glad I didn't, but not so sure. with my first decision. So I don't want to strip my midpoint. So I just jump into the outfield. Okay, everything hits, basically. What can I do? At least I hit back. Double five. Okay, making a point certainly looks strong, but I'm ahead in the race. Maybe I just should go out here. 13 pips up in the race. Yeah, looks good. And he may not even be able to escape with his back checker and yeah first glance it looked that i could hit but fortunately five three is blocked still ahead in the race solid favorite however 11 pips it's not enough there's also some contact left so he doesn't get that checker to safety i I think that's a mistake. I gladly hit here. Still think it's a bit too early to cube. Again, I miss. So 12 pips up now. So he keeps that blot over there. Now with the additional equity of maybe hitting now I feel compelled to cube. Don't know why he didn't get that blood to safety, because that gives me additional threats. I mean, we know 5-3 already. Uh, only a theoretical hit. Fortunately blocked. So now I'm curious, will he pick up the blood now? I, the thing is, I don't th see the purpose of that blood. Yeah, he picks it up now but he left it there at his own risk. So, hmm. I think it's wrong. At least he got me into cubing, but I'm not so unhappy about that. After double sixes, especially. 
yeah interesting start of the match for sure not so interesting anymore I understand uh, the idea of uh, maximizing contact when you are down in the race, but basically that blot that he left on my bar point didn't create any hitters simply because uh, there were no numbers as far as I remember that leave a shot. So then it gave me some jokers for no good reason in my opinion, but uh, we will see it in the analysis. For two, two off. Yeah. Nothing special here. Two points for me, probably. Don't know, try to press the confirm button. Some issues with the software sometimes. Sometimes it's a bit choppy. Maybe that's my connection. I don't know. So he gave up. Do nothing. Good start. Think correct is down and hit. Certainly will hit, and just in case, I mean, I'd like to bring a checker down to cover with sixes, but the anchor also has some value, I feel. Just in case, two six, not great. So I just said the anchor has some value, but I feel I don't want to get stuck there. Not that far behind in the race, create some contact. Much rather want to make the 16, for example. Okay, which I don't. No. Just make two inside points. That will hopefully allow me to consolidate my back checkers doesn't look like so I will continue attacking not so much with the blitzing plan but mainly I want to protect my back checkers so that he cannot attack with his full roll 5-4 is certainly the worst I mean cannot promise but it really looks terrible still if he cubes I think that's that that's a take. Five six is not much better, so we are both uh, struggling a bit. Should he have cubed? Well, he has the priming advantage. I mean, if it was a cube, only because of the score. But yeah, as you can see, he also has. Some really terrible numbers. Okay, I guess that's best. Okay, now I consolidated my position. And I can hit, so now I think I will duplicate fours a bit so now threes and fours fours it there and could also play nine eight this feels a bit better he dances hmm so he only has a deuce point game but i've got my four point open he has a reasonably strong structure I mean, for at zero zero, I cube this in a in an ins, in an instantaneously. However, that score I have to be a bit more carefully. For example, I get a checker to safety, and he just enters. I think it's too early at the score. Okay, six, and I could play completely safe. 
However, then I have all these outfield. I mean, that's maybe the golden opportunity to clear the 16. I will use that opportunity. Not too many returns. This is one of them. But I felt like, yeah, good opportunity. Clear that point. Maybe a bit too risky, but I don't think so. Of course, I would regret it. I will regret it in case I dance, which I don't, fortunately. So now, certainly not a cube here. Three, five, in and out. So against this two, four structure, I feel I still can wait. Do I hit another checker? Feels, feels okay. And I can also play like this. So maybe, yeah, why do I need that checker? This timing is a bit questionable. On the other hand, this looks quite nice. For two, not much to do now, depending on how he enters, may want to cube this. Five one. So if he gets stuck, I certainly will cube. Like he rolls a bad number five. So the six three. I better wait. Six four clears a point. Guess. Okay, he hits me. So maybe I could have cubed at some point simply because the juice point is really bad. Maybe I just adjusted too much for the score. Not so sure, so he should hit and slot. I guess so if he, if I hit him back continues with the back game if I don't then he can try to win this going forward 2-1 is quite bad he should have slotted again I think I feel maybe he does yes perfect much better So six four, great shot. And I guess this is it. Not inclined to take this at the score. So. Yeah, interesting overall game. Sixes could step out, but I mean, really into the triple shot. I mean, the nice thing is now I have rolls to improve my front position since I'm not going to be on the bar. Okay, now. Do I want to advance to the 20 and expose myself? I don't think so. Two, 
to one. So I, I mean, I want to make my five point, of course, but I think it's more important to step up and threaten to escape. Like, for example, now he makes the five, but I have more escaping numbers. And here, I guess, slot the five. Keep the mid as a link to my back checker. Well, there goes the link. Still an easy take, I think, if cubed. I'm not in danger, really, of losing a gammon. If I dance now, I think it's a clear pass. Maybe it was a double before, but this just too hard to get that checker home. So now we are five point match. Double aces, good shot. Split my back checkers. Hmm. Race is about even. I think he, well, this looks a bit risky, but of course he needs some structure. I think it's too early to queue being down in the race. Not anymore, of course. Actually here I like stepping up far ahead in the race and like this he cannot make any inside points so we'll just do that is there anything else and i can also make two blitz in there but i feel if that feels just a bit like an overplay so he can hit me Probably not, or problem is if he doesn't hit me, he gives me freedom to improve my position. But I think if I simply escape, if I roll a five, I'm such a big favorite, so that's a clear cube. Probably should have hit. So now he passes. I don't think he had a pass. Uh, had he hit? So that basically proves his play wrong if after he passes, but maybe he made up his mind to pass no matter what could easily be. So here I hit and I think I make the bar, looks good. For two, that looks like a double hit. I mean, he has builders in place. I have 11 checkers in the zone. If he only enters with one checker, ah, almost. Uh, okay, had he only entered, like had he rolled like a 5-2, I would have cubed him. That's not an issue anymore. Five two, not bad. Rebuilds my board. Okay. Six five is not great. Okay. Guess I have to play like this. Don't like it too much. I still think I have a take if cubed. The structure is not that great. Of course, I would like to free my at least one of my back checkers at some point. Yeah. So I really need to get them moving now. And yeah, that looks strong. Five point board. So you cannot just attack me with every roll. Certainly again, take and if I dance, I won't. 
And actually, now he should play on for the Gammon, maybe? I mean, yeah, why not? He makes the five point, he has good Gammon chances, so of course I cannot take before I waste time. Just pass. Still think he should have thought at least. Whenever it's obvious that the opponent has a pass, take at least three more seconds and think about a possible play on uh, because then sometimes you otherwise simply overlook good spot so these are clear do i switch probably i want to avoid double hits here i think this is fine Okay, this is not great. What can I do? Just make the 10. Yeah, he makes the 4. And I can anchor or prime. Problem is, I play like this. He's got so many shots. And I give up the 10. So this is a nice priming structure. I think I prefer this. Normally you make the, the opponent's bar point, but here that gives me such a nice priming structure and the alternative just I have too many shots. So now I have a big problem on my hand because I think he will cube. He should cube at this score because this is Giamanish enough. Probably I would have taken, but when you are in a blitzing position, you need four points to win. You should be really aggressive with the cube. And now I think this is suicidal. Hmm. Here I duplicate aces. And I put pressure on him. Yeah, that looks like. And now he cubes. Okay, of course, I have to be really careful here. So threes make the five. He can hit me. I cannot do everything at once. So, for example, he rolls a he makes the bar point, he hits me, then and I also have a priming structure, so it's really hard for me to drop this. So you roll something like a 5-3. Okay, he will add, then he will. Then I still have quite a bit of counterplay. And this is this is tough. Normally I would take it without much thinking but here he can hit me he can make the point is it there's something really bad yeah he can roll something like a four two yeah, he has some bad numbers i will take i don't know five four is not great just looked too strong my position no okay so take justified and since he has two blocks, I think I will put him on the bar. So is this a recube already? He needs 33% winning chances. I'm ahead in the race. I have the anchor. I have the shot, I think. Probably I'm a 60-40 favorite and can, I can easily lose my market. I think I'm talking myself into a cube here. Yeah, it's not super great, but I can lose my market the longer I think. Ah, yeah, that's cube. Yeah, five, double fives was precisely one of the roles I was thinking 
of as market losers. Can I play it any better? No, I don't think so. I mean, that's pretty good. So now I lost my market. That doesn't mean that my cube was correct. But certainly I'm happy to have cubed. I, of course, I don't want to leave any shot. Switch. Six, one. Hope that I can clear the mid the next roll, which I actually do. So this looks all really good. Six, four. Okay, makes the point. Almost home. Yeah. Don't need to hit him anymore, of course. Far and enough ahead, but that's of course perfect. Yeah, interesting cube actions here. Don't need to win a game, and so I just play the super safe variation. Can even play like this. I mean, how often do you lose the race here? Probably not very often. So then just go for safety. Just bring it home. And yeah, good game. Yeah, indeed. So probably he's now giving up. With the really curious. Okay, so there were definitely some mistakes here, and I'm curious what they were. So as you can see, um, I played okay, except for one really bad take pass decision. Without that, uh, PR would have been pretty good. Uh, however, I made the mistakes, so what can I say? Um, now you can guess uh, which position it was. Uh, in a minute, uh, we'll get to that. So let's first look at some of my other blunders. So this was a marginal cube. And uh, remember, I criticized his leaving the blood there. And indeed, it was a mistake. Uh, that was, he did it twice. And I just didn't, couldn't uh, see the reason, basically. Because uh, if you look at the position on which number, which of my numbers, is it actually to his advantage that there is a blot? I don't see any, basically. Okay, but enough talk about this position. So first game was basically fine. Uh, second game, here we have a blunder, so I should have been more cautious and just hide the blot. I was in duplication mode. I mean, this gives an unnecessary, the way I played it, Gives an unnecessary 5-4 and one extra blood. And my checker on the 9 really doesn't do much. So I could have just lifted it. And then again too risky. Again an overplay. I mean the idea is if he dances. I mean you can see my play is not almost wins as many games but the idea is if i play like this and he dances i have a strong cube anyway so i don't need to take the risk or the risk taking doesn't help me in the dancing variations and uh, when i play like this final position i leave four five Four two double twos double fours, so that was not necessary. 
a super big mistake. But anyway, now we get to the big cube mistake. Uh, actually, I was sometimes thinking about cubing the back game at some point. Uh, maybe we can look at some of the positions, like something like here for the roll. But you can see it's a small no double, mainly because of the score. And then I just instantly drop this easy take, which is not even a proper cube. So I was just a bit on autopilot usually when you're up against the five point board and the ace point is open. Uh, that's usually a pass and I was leading in the match, so I didn't really think. Um, however, in this case, uh, the, it's an exception because I have a strong prime myself, reasonably strong prime. So good things can happen. And if I simply enter, there's no number that exposes a shot immediately. I can play everything. And if I just enter, he will be under pressure. And it's a long way for him uh, to make a full prime. And I think I mentioned it like uh, casually. Yeah, there are some gammons. Yes, there are some gammons, but uh, there are just simply not many gammons, uh, so shouldn't have been afraid of that. But I completely underestimated my winning chances here. So that was the big mistake. Would have been a decent match had I not made that mistake. So next game, okay, I should have made the five points. So this, I don't fault myself too much for this mistake. Uh, I thought. In this situation, it's more important to is try to improve my chances of escaping the back checker. So what can you do? Uh, was a mistake, but uh, yeah, uh, nothing too bad at least. Can I, uh, okay, cube action in this game, I think it wasn't that important that interesting yeah standard pass in this game so now let's go to game four where i misplayed a double sixes so yeah i thought about it briefly but then i thought if i so that would have been the correct play just make the two points of course if he dances i can cash but I thought with my play, I mean, this is a bit confusing. So let's look at the resulting positions. Position, there are so many of his rules after which I have a strong cube anyway, and I keep my structure. So it was a bit passive. It's actually the play that wins most games. So it would have been the DMP play. But yeah, sizable mistake here. When gammons count, uh, maybe, I don't know, if he dances. Yeah, I felt if he dances, I still have to cube him out. So, of course, he has a big pass. So, I don't take advantage of my increased gammon wins necessarily. But probably if he enters with a bad number, like a 4-2, for example, I still have good cubes. So, yeah should have considered a bit more this uh, attacking play for sure next game was fine in, in the end that's a clear pass of course way too many gammons but it's also not a play on so good by him so i was just in the match thinking maybe he can play on, but uh, maybe he saw it immediately and there was no question for him. I would have thought about it a bit and hopefully would have gotten to the right decision to, to, to simply cube. Problem with playing on, let's go back here for a sec. Problem with playing on is if he cannot really hit loose because I have a five point board. And so then if I anchor race is very close. So he rolls a six two, makes his bar point. I roll a five X. 
I still have a tag. And so it's very easy to get back for me to get back into the game, which is why he correctly cached. Didn't wasn't that clear immediately. Here, game six. Yeah, that mistake. Um, yeah, that was one of these mistakes. Uh, typical in the sense that I think I mentioned it usually in these situations, blah, blah, blah. You make the bar point. However, I see enough reasons to consider this an exception. And as it so often happens, uh, this position is not an exception either. Uh, this is just strong and solid. I was a bit afraid of getting hit and then I don't have any advantage. But here I just give him too many chances to, to attack me, point on me. So, yeah, uh, when you know some pattern or you recognize some pattern, uh, all in all, don't try too hard to find the exceptions. Uh, more often than not, it, it just produces a mistake and a sizable one here, even a blunder. So I just should have followed my rule of thumb and then another mistake. So this one I can completely understand. I felt this is way too open. Uh, also, at this score, my opponent is four away. I really don't want to lose a gammon uh, on a two cube. So, and I also looked at the numbers, aces, deuces, sixes, and fives hit, and threes make the five points. So that translates in base to basically no bad numbers for my opponent. So I'm still a bit surprised. The problem with this play is it doesn't address my main problem, and that is the trap back checkers. So, so yeah. Yeah, I was a bit scared because of the score. Thought I have an easier take uh, when I keep the anchor. At least I didn't blunder here, uh, even though he wins a sizable amount of gammons, uh, easy take, uh, lots of counterplay. And as you can see, I rolled a joker and uh, yeah, I wasn't sure about the recube. I was, my assessment was fine. I think I said something about this is a 60, 40 position at least. And since he has to pass when he drops below 33% winning chances. So reason being, if he passes, it's four way, two away from his perspective and he has 33% winning chances. So he should only take if he has more than 33% winning chances in the game, which he clearly has. I knew that, that's why uh, I knew it was an easy take. Uh, however, if I roll a number like double fives, I mean, after this sequence here, he's down to 22% uh, winning chances. So that means uh, I lost my market by a mile. Of course, I got lucky. Seems like there weren't quite enough of these market losing sequences. I mean, at a normal score, I wouldn't have even considered cubing. But here, since his take point so high, I did it. No big deal. Didn't matter. So what, that was basically the last uh, big decision. The rest, uh, I, I mean, I brought the match home easily. And yeah, performance was so, so. One really big mistake uh, and some others that could have avoided. So I'm not super happy with my play, but also wasn't a disaster, of course. So anyway, it uh, was good practice, uh, got into some interesting spots. And so what's left to say is until next time, bye bye.